Hi, it's Ramesha here with Vocal Bliss. Today I'm going to talk about how to start a phrase or an exercise or a song in the correct way. But before we do that, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of the videos I put out. Starting a phrase or a song can seem like nothing that big of a deal, really, until you are in front of an audience and you have to start a song maybe on a super soft note with very little accompaniment and you feel totally exposed and all of a sudden that first note seems really really hard to sing and so this is what i want to address here i see many singers start their songs or phrases in a very tentative way and then really struggling to keep the following notes on track and not have their voice fall apart as they go. But you don't have to work that hard. If you just learn a little bit of vocal placement, it will allow you to sing that first note and all the following notes in that phrase before you take the next breath in a much, much more uh, easy and effortless way. One of the best ways to improve your vocal placement is to do your warm-ups, your exercises, and also when you start a phrase or a song, to try to really enunciate with confidence that first note and sing it a little bit louder. Maybe if it's a note that's supposed to be soft in the song, it doesn't matter. When you practice, sing it a little louder just to make sure that when you start, there's a certain energy behind it and the note is really full. When you start that way with confidence, with a full sound, by enunciating your vowel, your word that you're saying, the voice will more likely stay full that way throughout the rest of the phrase. It's a little bit like imagine putting a train on the tracks. Once it's there, it tends to stay there. On the other hand, if you start tentative and the first note is not quite there, I mean, the voice comes out, but maybe, maybe it's a little breathy, maybe it's not quite as well placed and it's not, not such a good sound, then the rest of the notes will also tend to be that way unless you really work hard to fix them. And, you know, if you have good training, that will certainly work. You can just fix them. It's, it becomes like second nature. But if, you're, if you don't have good training yet and you're struggling with this, it will be a lot better for you to try to really focus on that first note when you start. Just place it, pronounce, place it there, and then relax more on the following notes, knowing that they will stay placed more easily. I'd like to give you a couple of examples. First of all, I'm going to do a simple exercise that you can do. Now, if I start with a full with sound, with confidence, and I just focus on that first note, then the following notes, I almost have to not do anything. I just relax and the voice moves up and down and stays full. But if I start uh, a little bit, uh, I have to work harder to then fix the following notes in order to make the sound decent and to be able to hit, to go all the way to the top note, which sometimes may not happen if you don't start well. So if you want to practice this, I suggest you do it at a good volume first, uh, a few times and, and try to really start with confidence. Uh, just pronounce the vowel, whatever it may be. E, e, with, and not just e, e, with real confidence. Then when you've done this a few times, if, for example, you want to do it singing more softly, you can do that. Uh, but see, I'm not going, uh, it's still full, uh, it's just softer, but I am pronouncing the vowel with confidence, uh, and it's still coming out full, even though it's softer. So this is something that you might want to practice because 
Sometimes when you're singing, the phrase or the song that you're starting requires you to sing soft, and so you have to be able to do that. Another example I want to give is in a song. If you have a song, especially a, a melody that jumps from a low to a high note, and you want to be able to hit that high note with confidence, and so you go like, love is a star. You know, you want to hit that high, high note. It's not even that high, but it's just to give you the example. So if you start with confidence on the lower note and focus on the lower note and use it almost like a trampoline to jump up to the higher note, the higher note will more likely come out well. Love is a star. But if you start already, love is a star, and then you try to fix the top note, chances are that something is bound to go wrong up there because you won't have the voice ready and placed and coming out already in a full way to help you to make that jump. Usually when we're jumping up to a high note, our focus is on the high note because that's what we have to do. However, you would get a much better chance of hitting the high note well if you focus on the note right before the high note and focus on making that lower note that you jump up from really, really good and full. And again, sing it with confidence. So, love is a star. La, and not, and not just la, and you're thinking about the high note. Oh my God. No, love is a star. And then, Going up there is a lot, a lot easier. So these are just a few things, but I assure you when you start, whether you're singing alone or in a choir or in an ensemble, what a difference it makes when the singers are able to start boom with, with confidence and not tentatively. You tend to drag that tentative feeling throughout the rest of the phrase. It's not just impacting the first note. So learn and get used to starting any phrase, exercise, song, whatever you're singing with a full confident sound. Just don't be afraid of it. You're practicing. So if something goes wrong, oh well, no one can hear you. But by doing it while you practice, you develop the habit and then when you're performing, if that's what you're doing, you will be able to do that much, much more easily. And it will become second nature to you. You will be able to really, da, you know, just you open your mouth and the voice, boom, will come out full, strong, with confidence. And if you're singing soft, same thing. You'll be able to start your phrase soft, whatever the music requires, but the voice will come out full and, and because you're singing with confidence. And then from there, the rest of the phrase, the rest of the song, or the phrase, I should say, because every time you take a breath, you'll have to do that process again. So you, you finish your phrase, you take a breath, and you start another phrase. That new phrase should also start with confidence. So as you practice your music, as you practice your songs, make sure that every time you breathe and then start a new phrase, start it with that mindset of being confident, pronouncing your vowels, pronouncing the words that you're saying, and that will help you carry on throughout the rest of the phrase until you breathe and then you start a new phrase in the same way. So I hope this was helpful. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to my channel, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.